Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about divisibility test for 2, 4 and 8. Okay, so one by one we'll discuss about that. Okay, look at here. So the first one I'm telling about the divisibility by 2, right? Divisibility by 2. What is the meaning of that? What is the logic over here, right? Whatever the number is given to you, you should have to look at the last digit. That is the unit digit, right? Okay, if the unit digit, if the unit digit is either 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8, then the whole number is divisible by 2, right? Let's suppose I'm saying that is 1, 2, 9, 4, 3, 0, right? So look at here, what is the last digit over here? That is 0, so obviously it is divisible by 2, yes, right? One more example, one more example, let's suppose I'm saying that is 2, 4, 3, 9, 4, right? Look at here, what is the last digit? That is the unit digit, last digit is what? 4, obviously it is divisible by 2, yes, right? Okay. One more example I'm telling, let's suppose I'm saying 3, 9, 4, 2, 6, okay. Look at here, what is the last digit over here? That is 6, yes, obviously it is divisible by 2, right? Okay, like this you have to solve it, okay. One more example, let's suppose I'm saying that is 1, 9, um, 3, 4, 7, okay. Look at here, so what is the last digit? That is unit digit is 7 here, okay. So in that case, it is not divisible by 2, right? So this one is not divisible, not divisible by 2 right not divisible by 2 right okay in this way you have to solve it okay right good so now look at the next question that is the divisibility by 4 divisibility by 4 what is the rules that is the last two digits last two digits okay the last two digits if the last two digits of a number is divisible by 4 divisible by 4 right then the whole number is divisible by 4 okay let one example again I'm doing that is uh, 943716. Look at here 943716, right? Okay, look at the last two digit. The last two digit is 16 over here, right? So 16 is divisible by 4, yes. 16 is divisible by 4, yes. So that is why the whole number is also divisible by 4, right? Clear? Okay, you should have to look at the last two digits. If the last two digits are divisible by 4, obviously you can say that the whole number is also divisible by 4. Right? Okay. One more example. One more example. Let's suppose I'm saying 1, 0, 5, 4, 3, um, 4, okay, 36. Okay, like this. 1, 0, 5, 4, 3, 4, 3. It's a big number, right? Okay, it's a very big number. You have to check it out. The last two digits over here. So, what is the last two digits? That is 36 present over here, right? 36 divisible by 4. Yes. Yes, 36 is divisible by 4. Yes. So, that is why this whole number is also divisible by 4. Okay. This whole number is also divisible by 4. Okay. One more example. One more example. Let's suppose I am saying that is, um, look at here. Let's suppose I am writing this kind of examples like this. Okay. So, 875047, right? Okay. So look at the last two digits, last two digits, last two digits is what, 47, right? 47 is not divisible by 4, 47 is not divisible by 4, right? So that is why this whole number is not divisible by 4, okay? So that is not divisible by 4, clear? Because 47 is not divisible by 4, okay? That is why this whole number is not divisible by 4. Okay, you should have to check out the last two digits. If the last two digits is divisible by 4, then the whole number is divisible by 4. Otherwise, not divisible by 4. Okay, clear. Good. So now, next, okay, now look at the next rules that is divisibility by 8. Okay, what is the logic over here? Just remember if the last three digit, last three digit of a number of a number is divisible by 8 then the whole number then the whole number is also whole number is also divisible by 8 right so again i'm repeating divisibility by 8 is what if 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 the last three digit of a number is divisible by 8 then the whole number is also divisible by 8 okay one example i am telling with that look at here that is let's suppose i am saying uh, this is the example right so look at here this is a very big number look at the last three digit what is the last three digit that is 512 that is 512 that is the last three digit is 512 right 512 divisible by 8 yes yes it is divisible by 8 yes it is divisible by 8 okay 
so that is why this whole number that is why this whole number is also divisible by 8 yes it is divisible by 8 it is divisible by 8 okay so what is the rule just remember if the last three digit of a number is divisible by 8 then the whole number is also divisible by 8 okay right so now move on to the next example over here let uh, suppose i'm saying uh, like this look at here this is a very big number okay and look at the last three digit what is the last three digit over here that is 812 sorry 824 824 right 824 824 824 this is the last three digit of this number right it is divisible by 8 yes yes it is divisible by 8 yes it is divisible by 8 so so this big number also yes yes it is also divisible by 8 it is also divisible by 8 okay beta right so in this way you have to check it out right one more example one more example that is uh, let's suppose i am saying uh, like this look at here this is also a very big number okay okay this is also a very big number 9650329 it's a very big number and look at the last three digit over here what is the last three digit over here that is 329 okay 329 is it divisible by 8 no no it is not a divisible it is not divisible by 8 okay 329 no it is not a divisible by 8 so so you have to say this big number so so this big number not a divisible not a divisible by 8 okay so in this way whatever the question is given to you whatever the big number is given to you in this way you have to check it out whether this number is divisible by 8 or not okay so again i'm repeating how can you check whether a number is divisible by 8 or not very simple thing is that simple panda you have to look at the last three digit of that given number okay if the last three digit of the given number is divisible by 8 then the whole number is also divisible by Okay, but as in this way, you have to solve it. Okay, right. Okay, students, thank you very much. Thank you.